I um, was looking for a trace utility for Python. I didn't see it. I saw it in a PL1 many years ago. And I actually didn't see it in other programming languages. Um, so I was, I, I spent a lot of time trying to find trace utility in Python, and there, there actually wasn't any. Uh, in PL1, basically, what you do is you, you tell, um, you tell the, uh, you say what variables you're going to print out, and, um, and then you say trace on um, at some point in the code, and then trace off when you finish. Um, so um, the, the strange thing is but in Python, they don't go into great detail in that. Um, this is mostly made for um, programs that are uh, um, um, complex, and basically when you write a, a large program, um, you forget what you're doing. And so basically this allows you to uh, see everything that happened in the program um, that you're in. Okay, so basically what it does is it collects some or all information on executing program, which is the variables, the function name, the line numbers, the source code. Um, Python has a lot of introspection, so, um, so, um, um, and there's a lots of stuff you can um, store. So basically, uh, it stores, um, it also stores, and this is uh, pickled, uh, it also stores outputs from print state print statements and um, any terminating ex execution, the, the tracebacks. And then um, um, you play back the, the file. Okay, so it can also, so um, you can also stop execution, uh, let's, say, let's say you're in an infinite loop and there's um, too many lines um, or too much time or um, 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 actually, the, the reason why I called Pi, Pi, Pi Trace Monitor was because I was hoping I could s sort of stop it, um, but I can't. I'm gonna, as I say later on, I'm using uh, sys.setTrace, which is a part of sys, which is a C program, which I don't feel like modifying. Um, okay, um, so um, then the other obvious thing is you don't know where the program is. It just sits there and running, so basically you can dump this out on the screen or set it over network. You can uh, set breakpoints and uh, um, um, you know, basically something like breakpoints. And then you can also, uh, um, well, actually, I don't remember this, uh, automatic, run automatically every time a function is executed. Um, oh, I'm okay, sorry, uh, what I meant was uh, um, that I can set this up so that um, I don't have to say trace on, trace off, it just starts. Um, okay, so other capabilities are you want to know what your reference counts are, you want to know what the IDs are. Um, like for example, does the object re make some referring to the wrong object? This, this is basically stuff that's being accumulated in a file. Determining the inheritance path of a class to determine if there's a conflict of uh, methods. Um, include, um, and basically, since these are tests, you should include everything. Is the code, the documentation, the trace, and the con configuration in, in one file. Um, uh, and th so therefore, you can go back and look at it. OK, so the output is, um, so the, the basic uh, configuration is um, local variables, um, the current function name, the line number, and the source code at the line. Um, so the current function name, uh, I'm sorry, uh, basically, um, I, you have to give it a function. Uh, it doesn't. If you don't give it a function, it doesn't. It doesn't work. It just starts tracing on the um, on a function. Okay. So this is a small program. Uh, so I mean, this is a very small program. So um, so I'm saying uh, for j in range three, uh, and then I'm incrementing uh, w by two. Okay, so then I say, um, um, I, I create a function here. I, I actually don't have to do all this, but I create a function here, which is basically, it executes the function. So I say trace on, then I the, say the tra function name and trace off. Um, okay, so the output is basically a dictionary, and the dictionary is 
So basically, uh, the um, analyze.printall is, um, is um, um, the, the analyze um, program. So basically, the local variables here are J and W. The file name is test1.py. Uh, the, the code was for I and uh, the event type is a line, and the function name is T. So basically, this uses sys.setTrace. Um, as I say, this is the only thing I could find, and unless I went to uh, lower levels. And I think uh, when you get to lower levels in Python, the, there's very little documentation. Uh, the output is pickled. Um, OK, so, and you should be able to, uh, um, so basically, classes do not work in uh, PyTrace Monitor by itself. I think that's because Py classes are actually an add-on to Python and not an integral part of Python. OK, so this, uh, basically, since using low-level functionality, it, this will not work in. Um, this, use, this works at the ordinary Python prompt, which you, you basically get into your operating system. They say Python, that's at the ordinary. Pr py but it doesn't work in IPython, BPython, IDLE, Wing IDE. So basically, in order to run it inside one of these things, you can spawn a process and run it in, in that process. OK. Um, so basically, as I said, that the function name is tracer. Sys.setTrace calls tracer. And then start with start on. And OK, so, um, so there's different. Uh, basically, if you look in uh, uh, inspect, uh, you'll see a, a bunch of um, event types. So the event types is uh, line. So basically, line will give you the most information. There's exception, call, return, and other. So I've spent most of my time on line. Um, I'm not sure what call and return would would help out. Okay, um, so um, so this is the inspect module, and um, so well, this is basically a, a, just a portion of the code. I, I try to put everything together here. So essentially, so you you get um, get frame info from your frame, and then you um, then you say. If the the file name, line number, so on, um, then it then it puts it into the basically it puts it into a dictionary, which is a um, um, frame info dot uh, out. Um, okay, so in order to stop things from being pickled, and in order to stop them from um, um, uh, certain things from being pickled, and to stop them and to stop them from uh, um, uh, um, um, basically, to exclude values and um, include this included types and excluded types. So basically, the, this is just part of the filter.py. So basically, before you pickle it, you you be careful of what you what you um, store. Also, in uh, tracer, there is a um, um, there is there is a, a test to see if it can be pickled or not. So basically, the thing doesn't crash because there's a type in there that that um, can't be pickled. Okay, so um, so the uh, so basically the there's a configuration file, and um, so in this case we have max lines, uh, 1,000 lines, max time. So basically, you don't want to run into an infinite loop. And then this is the results file, it's pickle. And then we've got, so basically frame, I want file name, line number, function name, line code, and local variable. Analyze is basically analyze file or print. So right now I haven't done a lot with that. Basically just dumps out what's in there. OK, so um, this, um, I claim this replaces, replaces a lot of debugging tools. Uh, one is a step debugger. Step debugger doesn't provide you with very much information. Um, and this provides you with everything a step debugger would, uh, provided you tell it uh, enough, give it enough things. Uh, logging modules, uh, unit test, um, uh, and execution profiler. Uh, execution profiler, uh, basically what you have is there's overhead, obviously, with the tracer routine. But to a certain extent, if you take that overhead into account, um, you can you can sort of calculate what times, other times that um, 
your, um, your program itself is taking. Um, Coverage.pi uh, coverage is a program which shows you what code was covered and what wasn't. So uh, this can function as, as coverage.py. This can also determine memory usage. Uh, there's heap.py, so basically determining uh, memory usage at, at any line in the program. There's obviously also overhead with the tracer routine. OK, so um, um, my, it is on pytracemonitor.googlecode.com. I have a new version, which I haven't put up there yet. I, in the past, I, um, in the past, I um, um, did not put up enough documentation, so I'm going to put a lot more documentation up there. Um, I've, I've actually, my new version, I have added functionality to it. Um, I was actually hoping a lot of people would get involved in this and keep adding to it. Um, um, I think uh, with introspection in Python, uh, probably a lot more things could be added. So um, um, I will um, also put a repository, a code repository. I think on Google Code you use um, Mercurial, I mean, but I, I think GitHub seems to be the main one. So, um, so basically, my my original hope was that since this this is a rather big project, I was hoping other people would get involved and uh, add to what I've done. Um, obviously, I need to do far more documentation than I've already done. So that's all. Thank you.